Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scared Scriptless, featuring Craig Parker, Oliver Driver, Cal Wilson, and Kevin Smith. And now, here's your host, Mark Ferguson. Thank you, thank you. Yes, that's right, this is Scared Scriptless, where the audience votes for teams of players who make things up as they go along. Now, if that's not a description of MMP, I... What is? Why don't we meet the players, eh? The team's in the blue corner. He helped people as a social worker on Shortland Street. Now social workers are helping him, Mr. Craig Parker. He appears on Shortland Street dressed as a nurse, so he doesn't have to at home. Oliver Driver. In the brown corner, she's a stand-up comic, which is lucky because no one would see her when she's sitting down. Cal Wilson! He has done some stand-up comedy, which he likes to call acting, Kevin Smith. Now, I can hear you asking me, what is all this improvising all about? Well, what we've got a... About? Thank you, about? Thank you, Craig. Those are the players. They have no idea themselves. <laughs> this is a demonstration game. All players, down to the front, please. We, this is called Bus Stop. Bus driver who must guess the identities of three passengers. <coughs> Kevin, Cal and Oliver are opening their envelopes now, finding out the information. Remember, Craig has to guess what they are. They've never seen the information before, and here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a canary. Yeah. Oh, oh you're, having a, you're having a stroke? You need a tracheotomy. Oh. Can you breathe? Oh, you're a cat that swallowed the canary. You, you, you're choking. You've got a bird in your throat. Hang on, Heimlich. I'll give you a no. It was stuck there and it wouldn't come out. It was no. firmly entrenched. It wouldn't... Oh, it wouldn't come up. Well, so there's, a, there's a word that kind of means something like that. Yes, it, it wouldn't move. You know, it wouldn't budge. Would, yes. You're a budgie. I, it yes, was a budgie in the throat. Yes. Right. Sorry, go on. Next one. Talk in the name of our Father, the Lord. <laughs> your Holiness, welcome aboard. <laughs> It's so nice to have someone show me some respect. People keep trying to set me on fire. Oh, yes, Joan of Arc. Yes, Thank very you. good. It's amazing who you meet on the bus. Thank God, you stopped. I was going to walk, but it's miles away. Oh. Yeah, you crazy disco drug crazed fool, you. You, uh, you, uh, you marching boy. Down. What's that? You, you hero marching boy. Yes! Now let's meet our fabulous special celebrity guest judges, and they are, of course, the studio audience. Yes. Very nice. All right, let's get straight into round one, and that will be the blue team, Craig. <coughs> All right, this scene is called Arms. Water. I'll be down. I'll be interviewing Craig in the scene. Oliver will be providing his arms for him. You are a florist. I guess right. it. Very good. Good evening. Welcome to the show. We've got a fantastic guest on tonight. Uh, please welcome uh, Heinrich uh, Schmackenbottom, a world-renowned florist. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You see, I heard you do. So lovely. I love your country. It's very green. And I brought some flowers with me tonight. All right. Can, we, can you show us what you've got wrong? Yeah, yes, this is called a flower. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is milk. Lucky I've got a green suit. <clears throat> Yes. Now, you're, you're very well uh, world-renowned for your actual arranging. Yes. Can you show some of that? Sure. Uh, what I like to do is use interesting devices, mm -hmm. like, um, like this in yes. particular. This is a large beaker, mm -hmm. and I put the flowers, but I put them upside down. Mm -hmm. Yes. First, one Shut need, them in. Want to need some in. water in there? Oh, absolutely. We like mm -hmm. to put a bit of water. Yeah, I like to put a bit of water, just some water. I like to put some water into the flowers, because it keeps them longer. There we go, we pour the water, but I like to do it looking away. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. And what I do is I, I, uh, it's, it's, I use holy water. Mm. Yes, in case vampires come along, you mm. know. Mm. But I, uh, um, now I take the flowers. Oh. There you go, God bless you. Take the flowers. Uh, yep. And I like to drown a small, cute, fluffy animal in it. Well, luckily we actually have one. Yes, just down here. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. This is called Fluffy Bunny. 
Is my little friend Fluffy Bunny? Well, your brother is with us tonight. As yes, well, indeed. He? He, he does this little bit for you. I'll get him for you. One mm -hmm. second. Hey, Mick! Hello! Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Uh, I would, uh, how you say, I'm the more creative of the two brothers. Oh, I'd, I'd really like to see that. Oh, certainly. Let me take some of these. <laughs> you're, I'm so crazy and wild. Mom. Now, you're also, you, your specialty is... Excuse me, I'm just covering my lower half in water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I find this most effective. You, you know, sometimes you'll be standing on the floor, it's to get very hot. Just take a beaker of water and pour it all over your nether regions. And just really let that sink in. And you get to see what it's like to be a flower. You're, I will grow. I will grow, I will raise, I will become flowery. After tonight, after I've spoken to you, I will go stand in the sun for a while. All right, I think you should do that right now. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> All right, next up we have the Brown team. Cal and Kevin down, please. Now, we'd like you to also play a little scene from the real lives of our studio audience. We've got Andrew, who's up, up there. Just give us a wave, Andrew. This will be your, your story. Oh, you're Ben. <laughs> Somebody's Andrew. Somebody's Andrew, I know it is. Ben, um, we asked about uh, you, you. You broke something. Uh, in, you broke a rib. Uh, you jumped off a garage. And your mad mate, whose name was? Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Him. There he is. <laughs> I knew he was around here somewhere. So we've got Ben jumping off a garage with something to do with his mad mate, Andrew. And we want you to play this scene in the style of Shakespeare. Alrighty. Good luck. Your scene starts now. Good, my Lord Ben. Tis I, crazy Andrew, lord of next door of Neighborland. <laughs> I come to thee with a gallant suggestion. <laughs> I have a fear, Andrew. For mad as you are, mad as a cut snake, you would have me do some insane acts, no doubt. Nay, my good Lord Ben, for thou art as dear to me as a panda's paws are to a panda. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thee leap from the carriage roof, carriage house, with me to pledge our very platonic and nevertheless manly, but none of that girly stuff love for each other. <laughs> leap, leap, the very word itself fills me with dread. <laughs> and yet, Andrew puts it in such a way, it almost seems attractive. <laughs> Come, Sir Andrew, let us leap into the Abbey. <laughs> what is the Abbey doing here? Should she not be at the Abbey? Oh. Does the Jeffrey oh. never end, Andrew? I come to leaping. <laughs> Mount the steps to our perhaps execution. For we are but small, we tiky types. We are not tall, we may fall to our deaths. Anon. Just so I know that we two, twixt, the two, the couplet, the two that we are, shall fall together. On the count of three, not one, not two, but three, certainly not four, we shall leap. <laughs> yeah? Yes, Rivi, a one, hey, noni, noni. <laughs> a tisola. Three, and the devil take the hindmost. <laughs> three. Oh, alas, my feet did not want to go, so the rest of me stayed with them. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm sure that's exactly how it happened. Judges, we've had a look at two audience-involved scenes. What do you think of those two? Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like a sea of blue. That's the blue team winning that uh, exchange of games there. That's the end of that round. We'll be going to a commercial break. Thank you very much. See you soon.